You know what really helped me go from making $1,200 per launch in 2020 to making over $800,000 per launch in 2023? Guys, I'll give you a hint. It wasn't a secret formula. It wasn't a magical hack or strategy. And it definitely wasn't a grind till you die mentality. You guys, it was getting in the right room in front of the right people. And that right circle of influence raises the bar, helping us set new higher expectations for ourselves and elevate our standards for the life we live in the business we operate. Because the truth is that we don't know what we're truly capable of until we get into the room with the people who are going bigger than us, scaling higher and showing us what is possible. When you join us in Austin at Burnout to All Out Live this October, you will be stepping into the room. This two to three day experience, depending on if you go VIP, is the most result oriented event for business owners and entrepreneurs. It's unlike any other event you've attended. If you're looking for dynamic growth opportunities, cutting edge ideas, a supportive community, and energizing inspiration to help you elevate your business and upgrade your life, you'll find it at Burnout to All Out Live. But I have to warn you, last year, the seats sold out weeks in advance. As a matter of fact, our gold VIP tickets, and I'm recording this ad in January, are totally sold out already. They've been snatched up. We do have some silver VIP tickets for that extra third day, and there's a good chance we're going to totally sell out this event again. So if you want in, I encourage you to grab your ticket now before the prices go up and the silver VIP tickets are completely gone. Check out the show notes from this podcast episode for the link to grab your ticket to secure your spot at Burnout to All Out Live 2024, where we will be elevating you. or If you have a web browser handy, open up a new tab and go to www.burntouttoallout.co forward slash live dash event. Can't wait to see you there. Hey, hey, hey. I hope you guys enjoy these, what I'm calling podcast shorts for my Burnout to All Out community. This is just a little peek behind the curtain of the coaching that goes on inside of my programs. We're bringing to you some of the best nuggets and coaching I'm giving within hot seats of all of our different programs, whether it's our LinkedIn Method Academy, our mini mastermind business basics, all the way up to our higher level mastermind. If you're hearing some of these questions and you're like, man, I wish I could get my burning question answered by Melissa. Hey, guess what? You could be featured on my podcast. If you've got a question that you want answered and you submit it to my team and we pick it, we will bring you here to the podcast for our podcast shorts and uh, do a hot seat with you. Where can you submit your questions? Send them to teamburnouttoallout.co. We'll make sure we drop that in the show notes for our podcast shorts. And I hope that you guys find as much value in these shorts as our clients do inside the program. Need some effective tactical advice that actually helps you get results and makes a real difference in your life and business? You've come to the right place. If you're finding yourself here today, it means you're getting ready to gain serious traction in your business, rapidly multiply your income and impact, and you're ready to make it happen while living all out. Guys, I'm Melissa Hanault, your trustworthy corporate dropout turned six-figure business burnout turned happy and healthy CEO of a multi-million dollar online business, and you're listening to the Burnout to All Out podcast. On this show, we're serving up innovative growth strategies, simple implementation methods to put them into practice, and action-stimulating inspiration tailored specifically for the modern entrepreneur. Let's dive in. So I am also a top voice on LinkedIn for customer service. (laughs) I'm like, okay. I think it happened from doing those or the AI generated and I contribute to those articles all the time. So I think it came from that. 
I have no idea, but whatever. Well, we're going to reach out to you so we can feature you. That's awesome. So I am wondering if you could give me some pointers on how, so I'm narrowing down my niche and coming to grips with my identity and moving towards manufacturing consultant in small 10 million or less and relocation. So I need to really start thinking about my content and how to position myself as a leader because I think my content is from the people that are engaging with me and whatnot or commenting and so on. I'm getting a lot of people who want to sell to me and I get it. I own a business. Everybody wants to sell to me. I understand. So I'm getting a lot of that. And then just the comments of my posts and everything else is not really coming from the market that I need to target. So I need to restructure, in my opinion, I could be wrong, so tell me, in my opinion, I need to change up whatever it is that I'm doing and reposition myself in a bit of a different way. So I'm Went and I'm following Chief Operating Officer Alliance on LinkedIn. And even when I make comments there, I'm not, they've got 10,000 followers. They post regularly, but I'm not getting any feedback or any engagement on my comments on their feed, et cetera. So I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Okay. So you have decided you are going to narrow down to being a manufacturing business consultant, correct? Right. Specializing in the relocation. Okay. Who would be your target buyer persona, like their job title? So I have two targets here. One is CEOs, the COOs. I mean, really anybody in C-suite would be my target audience, but primarily the CEOs. Okay. All right. And then my other audience would be economic development organizations. Okay. And how many of those are you adding to your network per week right now? Zero. And so... I just kind of came to this and I'm like, all right, we need to get on to the feeds of economic develop organizations. And I've also been like, you also need to get into feeds of the manufacturing organizations or associations that are out there. Not that I want to connect with them, but to connect with they whom they're connected with. Yeah. So I think this is actually going to be simpler to fix than you think. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I think what you're experiencing right now is a lack of engagement because you have intuitively made a shift in who you want to market to, but your audience is not reflecting that shift. So you are not getting the engagement you're looking for because it's the wrong people in your feed, right? Right. And so although diagnosing it is pretty simple, the execution may take a little time, right? And that is, how many people do you have in your network right now? I don't know, or 500, like 900 and something. Okay. So that everybody knows you can add 5% to your network every day. So. Yeah, I have 936 followers and it just says 500 plus connections. Okay. 865 connections, apparently. So you could technically add 46 people to your network every day if you wanted to without going to to, to, to LinkedIn jail. Okay. Okay. Those of you listening, where did I get that number? Her total network number times 0.05, right? If you go over that threshold, LinkedIn will start to flag you and pump the brakes on your capacity to use the platform, right? And so, and you don't want to ease into that. If you haven't been growing your network lately, the other thing they don't like seeing is just all of a sudden like rapid action on the platform when you haven't been, they'll think it's AI. So even though you could add 46, technically, if they see you go from zero to 46 in a matter of 15 minutes, they could still flag you. So what I would do is kind of ease into that network growth. Maybe you start with 10 to 15 a day, work your way up to upwards of 40 if you have the time or capacity, or if you've got like a a VA to even do it for you, 
it's going to be pretty simple in the sense that you need to do a search for the CEO and the COO in your industry, or does it even matter? Well, you're looking for manufacturers, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're going to be targeting CEOs and COOs in the manufacturing space, right? You can create kind of a custom script that meets that. And then if you're doing it or you've got a $15 an hour VA doing it, you or them can still kind of, before they hit send, customize the script just a little bit and put like their name in there so that it seems personable and start cranking that bad boy out like 15 to 40 times a day. Like, You just need the right eyeballs to see the content that's relevant. And so you might want to make that split toward CEOs, COOs, and economic organizations. So I would just encourage you to go back to that LinkedIn checklist, and it'll remind you of some of these activities that you need to be doing, because the other one is going to be also like the influencers of where these people are going to be hanging out. But I just think that you just need to get some critical mass. You need about 500 of these people in your network, which actually knowing that you could add 40 people a day, you could actually get there pretty darn quickly. And the sooner you get there, the sooner you're going to see engagement with your content that's relevant to them. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And I probably already have a couple of hundred already as connections because... right. But the more you do it and the more you're focused on it, especially with the recency effect of the algorithms, the algorithms will also say, oh, Stacia is really preferring this niche audience, engaging with this niche audience. So I'm going to make sure content's coming through her feed that's relevant to what it seems like she's really engaging. So by that shift in network, you're going to see a shift in the energy in your feed as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I think, yeah, that was it. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks guys so much for listening in on today's podcast episode. And I can't wait for you to see my upcoming guest in the next episode. You are going to love this keynote speaker. Hey, here's the deal. If you liked this, please subscribe and leave a review. And you want the latest online business growth strategies and exclusive LinkedIn pro tips sent straight to your phone? Text the word UPDATE to 704-318-2285. That is text the word UPDATE to 704-318-2285. Can't wait to see you guys. Come find me over on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you like to hang. I cannot wait to hear how you are enjoying and applying what you're learning. You guys reach out to me over on social because I love hearing what's resonating with you. When you reach out to me and you send me those personal DMs, they really do impact the content I continue to bring forward to you. So again, come find me, Melissa underscore Hinault over on Instagram, Melissa Hinault over on LinkedIn and Facebook. Can't wait to see you guys over there.